Listen, I talk a lot about doing life with God and hearing the voice of the Holy Spirit right on the inside of you. And the Word of God says that my sheep hear my voice and no other does it follow. Actually, that is not true. That's not what it says. <laughs> That's what I thought it said. It said, my sheep hear my voice and a stranger's voice it will not follow. Y'all, I just went in there to buy ice cream and ended up spending 20 bucks on two things of ice cream because I'm looking for the best. I'm like, what's the best? And all of a sudden I'm like, here in my heart, Bluebell. Bluebell is the best. Bluebell is twice as much as all the other ice creams. <sighs> but I'm hearing it, Bluebell is the best. So I get Bluebell. And I'm paying out and I'm realizing that's not the voice of the Holy Spirit. Y'all, that's the voice of Texas. I have been brainwashed. That is the voice of Texas pride on the inside of my heart saying, Bluebell is the best ice cream. Listen, the word says that my sheep hear my voice and a stranger's voice it will not follow. Obviously, I got Jesus on the inside and I got some Texas pride on there because I totally followed that voice. So the key is there's things that you're listening to that you haven't made a stranger. And if you don't want to follow that voice, you got to start distancing yourself from it. That voice of insecurity, that voice of, of just, you know, not being enough or that voice of complaining that there's not enough, that voice of, of despair, that voice of depression, those need to be strangers. That voice of jealousy, it needs to be a stranger in your life because it doesn't say my sheep hear my voice and no other voice will they follow. It says my sheep hear my voice and a stranger's voice they will not follow. So what voice do you need to start making a stranger in your own heart? Is it is it insecurity? Is it anger? Is it just that fear of not enough? Is it jealousy? The moment you start recognizing that voice, you start rebuking it. You take those thoughts captive. You start distancing yourself from it. So when it comes up, you recognize it as a stranger, stranger danger, and you don't follow it. Listen, who doesn't love Bluebell ice cream? But you know what? Mm, is it the best or have I just been told it's the best because, you know, Texas Bluebell, Texas Pride, listen, they ingrained that. Just you wait, all you Californians moving here. Your children, they only don't want Bluebell. Hit subscribe and stay connected to How to Do Life with God.